Chill Computer Guy. Today we're in Bitwig Studio. We are going to take a look at the Time Selection Tool. It is a very powerful tool indeed. Understanding it is of utmost importance because you can do a lot of things with it um, that you can't do with other tools. Uh, it's a very, very powerful workflow piece. Um, let's go ahead and go up here. Um, what I often do is I will start um, my song or my pattern, or in this case, uh, my my uh, my drum samples here. I'll start them out in my arranger. In other words, I you know I put them all together in my arranger. Let's go ahead and close the clip launcher here, and uh, you'll see that there's some there's some subtleties going on here. And basically, I will build my loop out in the arranger. But what I want to do is once that's built out, I want to actually utilize it like it's a clip. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. First off, if you lasso this entire thing, okay, make sure you don't get the gray. And that's why I got this very contrasty colors. I recommend when you're working with sections on arrangements to make high contrast colors so you can see them very clearly. I actually don't recommend when it comes to arranging, coloring your stuff based on arrangement as opposed to instruments. That's a whole other philosophy, which I might get into in another tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. Okay, but if you drag this all over to the clip launcher and drag it right here and drop it, you're going to see what is going to happen is, is this. Let's go out all the way here. You'll see that it has actually taken every single slice um, and created a different scene for it. Now, you know, you can play this. What that's done is it's basically taken every section or every bar and created a separate uh, uh, scene for it, basically. Um, I don't want to do that, though. I want to control Z that. Um, let's go back to the arranger here. What I want to do is I want this to be laid out exactly like it is in the arranger, but I want it to be able to pull it in as clips. Okay? Well, if you use the normal selection tool and you lasso all these, you can consolidate, okay? And if you hit consolidate, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get certain clips that you have to go back and you have to now drag these out. Oh, geez, oh God, you gotta deselect first. Don't forget to deselect. Um, but you gotta drag all these out, you know? And so this is a lot of extra work, you know? You know, if you drag all these out and then you pull it over, it should play fine as a clip. But, oh, and look, we even missed a piece right here. But why do that? Let's control Z all that. You know, and if you don't drag them all out, if you just drag it over like this, what will happen is these clips are going to realign because they're going to play, they're going to basically play as if this is the entire loop. Now, this is actually a decent way to get some syncopation, you know, taking your loops, breaking them down, making them different lengths, and then uh, putting them into the clip launcher because when you launch them as a clip, they're going to automatically turn around at the longest clip. See, but I'm cool. I like that groove a little bit. You put the bass line in there with that, it might chop a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, so back to the arranger. That's actually a decent way to get some syncopation. I've actually used this technique before in the past to get some syncopation and done some alterations, and I've actually found some gold. 
Because remember, there's hook of gold in syncopation. Syncopation is golden as far as uh, finding hooks and whatnot in there. But that's not what we want to do. Let's go back to there. What we want to do is we want to use the time selection tool, okay? And it's right over here, the time selection tool. It's by hitting two on your keyboard. As far as the pointer tool, they've made it so if you're not on the header of the clip, it automatically turns to the time selection tool. And that's kind of a powerful thing, but when it comes to selecting large areas and with tons of clips in it, and you want to be very precise. I recommend going to the time selection tool, going right to the tool, because that way it'll be, it won't toggle off and on. Because if you use the selection tool in that way, it will toggle off and on, and it's going to create some confusion. But you want to start at the corner of the clip, because if you drag this, you can see that's just the kick drum, for example. You got to drag and make sure that all of these things are highlighted blue. So basically everything in this blue square is going to be the clip. So the time selection tool, remember that when you select, it's selecting both horizontal and vertical, okay? That's a very important thing to understand, but it's actually something that makes this tool extremely powerful because there we go, we have that entire clip. Now if we right click and we hit consolidate, now we have this all dialed in, okay? Why it switched colors, I have no idea, okay? That's a weird, weird thing that happens in Bitwig Studio. I don't know what causes it. Um, now if you drag that over, you get what you want, the verse. God damn it. You gotta get your DAW. You gotta get your you gotta get some funk out of the DAW. Fucking funky as a motherfucker. But that's how you do it. The time selection tool. Um, also, check this out. This tool does a lot more than just uh, if you if you're if you're like an Ableton user, you know. Um, let's say you're an Ableton user. Normally in Ableton, what you do is you you make like a time selection, you know, you 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 basically you know, drag out a thing here and you right click and you go add MIDI clip. Well, Bitwig does pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, remember, it's horizontal and vertical. And again, make sure if you're going to use the time selection tool, I recommend shortcut two, one, two, you know, one is the selection. Make sure you're on here because when you're actually on the tool yourself, you have a lot more liberties with it as far as, you know, the ability to just do one track, you know or some other, let's say I want to do three tracks. Let's say I want it to be that long, just like that, consolidate. So you can create clips. So you can pull your arrangement out in clips. And, um, you know, as far as what color the clip is, that seems to be random. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. But uh, yeah, it's a powerful tool, the time selection tool. Let me tell you, it's a powerful tool. But yeah, there it is, uh, how to get clips from the arranger into the clip launcher. Uh, using the time selection tool to do that makes it a lot easier. Um, just That's just the way I work. I tend to build stuff in the arranger and then once it's built in the arranger, I like to kind of block it out if I can, you know? Um, but using using this tool is, a, is, is very powerful. It's a very powerful tool, the time selection tool. Anyway, Chill Computer Guy, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and we're gonna have more tutorials uh, talking about the uh, the tools here in Bitwig Studio. All right, bye bye now. Mm -hmm.